Hey there, welcome to Butterfly Learning's YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about why do children show aggressive behaviors? Children show aggressive behaviors by hitting or yelling at others or start hitting themselves when they get angry or something really troubles them. Very common problem parents face. It becomes more difficult for them to manage behaviors when the child is outside yelling in a public place. They try various things to deal with the child's aggression and lastly parents find themselves in thoughts like, what's wrong with my child? Or, am I a negligent parent? Dear parents, please do not worry, there is nothing wrong with your child, neither you are a negligent parent. Realistically speaking, you are a human dealing with another tiny human who is experiencing some tough emotions. We need to understand children don't show challenging behaviors for no reason because for them it is the only language through which they can communicate their unmet needs. They lack the ability to express themselves verbally. They act aggressively because the behavior has been reinforced previously. How to find what is troubling my child? There are two things you need to figure out. Find out what took place before the child responded to it aggressively. To get a better insight, take notes once the child has regained his calm. After one or two weeks, if you go through the notes, you will understand what makes him feel angry or frustrated. Try to observe if there is something that the child is trying to communicate by showing behaviors. It can help you figure out the reason behind the aggressive behavior. What to do if the child is showing aggression? Staying calm is the most important thing that a parent should do when the child is aggressive. Do not yell or shout because there is a strong possibility that he will try to match your volume by screaming more. Adding your own emotions will only complicate the situation. So, stay calm or quiet. Have a neutral facial expression. When the child gets super angry, he enters a zone where his brain cannot process what mom or dad are saying. Talk a little in short phrases or a few words which the child can understand at that moment. Take him to his room or any other comfortable environment which helps him to cool his mind. Do not leave him alone. Stay with him. Try to console and let him know you are there. These three situations will help you defuse that situation. Now what steps must be taken to reduce aggression completely? When you are giving instructions, try to see it from a child's perspective because they process things slowly and transitioning from one activity to another is difficult. They need our support to give simple instructions and allow extra time to make the transition as smooth as possible. We need to understand that children, like adults, do have bad moods. Instead of negating them, we have to teach them how to regulate emotions and put their feelings into words. Kids are more likely to show good behavior when they are reinforced for doing good things. Give them positive feedback if they have done something correctly. Butterfly Learnings offers evidence-based behavior therapy for children who engage in aggressive behaviors. Our care team comprises both certified behavior analysts or pediatric neurologists providing you with guidance or consultation and well-trained behavior therapists who can understand your child and help him learn daily living skills check the caption below. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to check out other video on our channel.